Welcome to lesson 12 in Free Code Camp's Bootstrap section. This is Create a Custom Heading. We will make a simple heading for our cat photo app by putting the title and relaxing cat image in the same row. Remember, Bootstrap uses a responsive grid system, which makes it easy to put elements into rows and, per and specify each element's relative width. Um, most of Bootstrap's classes can be applied to a div element. Here's a diagram of how Bootstrap's 12 column grid layout works, and that's what we've seen in previous lessons. <clears throat> Note that in this illustration, the column MD class is being used here. MD means medium, and asterisk is a number specifying how many columns wide the element should be. In this case, the column width of an element on a medium sized screen, such as the laptop, is being specified. In the cat photo app that we're building, we'll use let me see. In the cat photo app that we're building, we'll use column extra small, where XS means extra small, like an extra small mobile phone screen, and star is a number of columns specifying how many columns wide the element should be. So nest your first image and your H2 element within a single div of class row, then nest your H2 element within a div class, column extra small, size 8, and your image in a div class column extra small four so that they are on the same line so let's do this so it says your h2 element and and your topmost image element should be both nested together within a div element with the class row so we want to go to this h2 here and topmost image would be this top one. We want both of them inside a, a div. So we want to put a div here and then the closing div after this the topmost image. So now this H2 class and this topmost image is inside of a div. They want us to give that div a class of row. So we'd come into our opening tag and give it a class of row. Next it says nest your topmost image element within a div. Okay, so topmost image is here. We want this one inside of a div. So now this image is in a div and then we have to specify in here give it a class of column extra small four. Okay, so that's your h2 element within a div with okay, so then we go to our h2 which is here. We put it inside of a div. So it ends there. Like that, and then we give this one a class of column extra small eight. So now, as you guys can see here, this is taking up eight columns. And the picture of the kitty is four columns altogether, 12. So that should be it for this lesson.